Hi everybody, my name's Joe. I'm going to show you a quick hack on uh, how to get these keys apart when when you have a stripped out screw on a Honda key. If you're familiar with this, it's a pretty common problem where you, this uh, screw is, they use some, some thread locker in there, so unless you have a really nice sharp screwdriver and you push real hard, you, you're very likely to find yourself in a situation where that screw is stripped out. So I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in one of these without taking the screw out. Where you're going to want to start is on this side here. Hope you can see that there's a little notch built into it and we're going to pry with a little little flathead screwdriver. We're going to pry in this direction. We want the back of the case to open. So we're going to start here and, and, and work our way forward. Hope you can see all this. And you get to the point where you're up here towards the top you can just kind of turn your screwdriver and the top should pop open eventually like that so that's kind of the goal what we want to, where we want to get to is right here where we have our key you know like this here it's the case split apart we'll press on the buttons to knock the, the, the remote center core loose and then you're going to want to pry real hard and I'll show you what to do if uh, if in this this step you end up breaking it I'll show you what to do in that case but uh, here's what we're doing we're taking the taking the center out here Sometimes it comes out in two pieces. In this case it did, but it did come out and we'll be able to put it back in. Other half, the battery half is still hung up on here, so I have to take that out separate. So there's your battery, there's the, what the keys look like bare, and the screw is still in it. So at this point we replace our battery, put the guts back together, make sure the lights come on, Car is probably going crazy in the garage right now, but uh, these are extra parts for me. And then, uh, so if you, at that point, you re re replace your battery. So the way to put it back together, just reverse what you did to take it apart very carefully. Push it all in there until the buttons line up, and then snap the case back together. Sometimes it's kind of hard, but uh, you get that case back together, and that's how you get in and out of there. Now what's going to happen to a lot of you is the uh, screw here, it's going to break and, and you get about a, if you're real careful and, and it takes practice, I make this look a little kind of easy because I've done it a lot of times, but here's the worst case scenario, what will happen if you if you mess up, I'm going to do this all over again just to show you. You're going to get to the case, crack it open, and right here you're going to, you're going to go you're going to pull it apart and you're going to go, oh no, I pulled too hard and it broke right off. So at that point, this piece is junk and you can throw it away because the hole in it is much too big for the screw now. And uh, what you'll have to do, take the guts out again, you have to get a vice grip on this screw here now, like this, and then take that screw out. Easy enough, and then the screw I'd replace it. You get yourself a brand new one from the dealership like this, or and then you find yourself a new screw, you put it all back together. Gotta make sure the battery module is snapped shut. Put this back in here, put your new case on that you bought on eBay or wherever you get it from. Prefer you get it from me at the dealership, we get you the right one. And then uh, put your screw back in there, your new screw. And uh, that's how you take care of one of those. And uh, hope I saved you guys some headaches and thanks for watching.